before we roll, we have a finish. We can. Sp I'm not recording. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Hello. Um, all right, let's just go. That's fine. <laughs> um, so you have different finishes now. What? Tell us. Yeah. So uh, you are familiar with the uh, the kind of native finish that we have. That's just natural, no added finish. Um, so that's what we've been shipping all these years, and. Uh, and the idea there was it just comes right out of the mold. It has the finish in it. We do a little touching up. Um, and it's pretty sealed uh, and it's pretty robust. But some people have been asking for a kind of more traditional, fully encapsulated, full finish. So we developed a smooth, well, it's more or less a smooth satin. Um, and so we're going to be offering the, the traditional kind of natural finish. And for people who want a smooth satin that'll be why would somebody want a satin finish this is because it's it's pretty much like a satin this one um i'm gonna call this a semi-gloss okay uh but so, that, th th this one is right out of the mold right this is how this, this is, is how like, yeah it's a little bit of touch up but it's pretty much out of the mold like this this is the mold finish basically in the material finish the top two the top is straight out of the the press exactly same thing so we 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 add, we give it this kind of satin look, and that doesn't change very much. But we got some feedback that people want the whole thing one type of finish. Okay. And so that's one reason is just sort of a consistent thing, and I think the other thing is because people are used to paint on instruments. Mm. So I mean, you sell all kinds of brands, and yeah. um, almost all of them, other than Blackbird, have finish on them, right? Yeah. Because right? there would. <laughs> There would, and um, and frankly, the the idea there is that you know it it allows us to kind of make it more uniform, mm -hmm. and some people want that. Some people embrace the like unique imperfections, each little hair that maybe is in a little bit errant, and other people want uh, something that's looks like it's there's not a single thing that is unique. Right. It's just got the whole finish over on the surface. So I wanted to be able to produce something for for those folks too. Um, the other thing is if you're like going to space or scuba diving or whatever, it's probably better to have the finish version, right? Like this is strong enough for 99% of the people, right. but if you're like a whitewater rafter, then it's probably not a bad idea to have a spray. Do you think version. this, this natural, uh, unfinished model is more potential to issues with extreme humidity or? Yeah. So I would say that all things being equal, it'd be a good idea if you're extreme in extreme conditions to have a additional layer. We figured out a way to build the instruments, even these native straight out of the mold, what we call net mold instruments, without that added finish. You don't need it, but if you're like a rafter or if you're uh, someone that's doing like adventure sports uh -huh. with your instrument, which is what Blackbird <laughs> right, right, right. also appeals to, then it makes sense. And our carbon fiber instruments were always sealed too. They always had a clear coat over uh -huh. them too. So um, it's kind of a way to bring back the like the crazy, I wanna go, you know, skiing, surf and turf or whatever, right? Skiing and then I'm gonna go, you know, hit, hit some, uh, some waves on my uh, surfboard. That, that kind of person, it's probably a good idea to have the cover, the kind of the, the entire thing coated. And um, of course, you make your gloss finishes, and we've gotten plenty of the like sunburst gloss, and even some natural gloss. But I guess for for some people, they they like this look basically, um, or they like the natural satin look. So, you know, I, it's just does it look much different than this in no, the satin? It, no. So the, I mean, the front looks almost identical. Right, so that's that is a satin finish, and and it'll look like that. The back is less glossy, so yeah. So, so this is matches less. the front, yeah, right. exactly. And that and actually the head plate too becomes satin instead of gloss. Right. right. Yeah. Basically, other companies, you know, you add finish, it doesn't become big news. But for Blackbird, <laughs> it's something like you know, news flash. We actually are using finish now, and it, it's just a way to appeal to a wider audience of people and give people more options. The high gloss works for some people too, and that's a different kind of animal in and of itself, right? It's got a lot more paint right. because that's how high glosses work. Um, you have to build up that finish to make it perfectly flat, right? Um, you know all about that. 
Hey, Joe, how's life? Life's good, yeah. I'm here for one day, so it's a bit of a, a madhouse. Um, but life's good, yeah. <laughs> we're, building, we're building a lot of instruments. Um, we're selling a lot of ECOA, not just for instruments. Oh, so really? I'm doing a lot of... Like what? Um, so... Spacecraft. Yeah, exactly. I can't... I, I'll tell you next NAM show. Um, we're, we're moving into more of like wood replacement. So wood without trees is kind of the slogan for that, that side of the business. But for furniture? Furniture. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Linwood, right? Lingrove. Oh, Lingrove. Lingrove. That's your, you and everyone else. Like, I want to get some of that Linwood stuff. I know I should, I should trademark. That's trademarked right now on the spot. Um, yeah, Lingrove. So I'm, I'm just kind of split between those two endeavors. Still making a lot of these things. And um, How come you haven't made a baritone yet? Well, that's really putting me on the spot. Yeah. Um, Probably a lot of investment in new molds and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's like 50K or whatever, no big deal. It's like this microphone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's, that's in the cards. That's in the cards. Um, the molds are involved. And when we make it, it's more than a mold. Everything has to be sort of made manufacturing style because we're working off of a master mold and then everything flows from that. So It's like you can't just make one thing you no. know, to see how it does like well let's make a soprano to just see how it is it's like no that's like well we did kind of make a uh oh, you did? yeah we kind of did make a thing but it's not a, it's a it's you a guitar about... it's a guitar oh can i can we allowed to sh see guitars on this on the uh kataka show or no you gotta cut two of the strings off and okay. then we'll look at it can you now. do that in post <laughs> no, no, yeah okay let's yeah. take a look yeah you want to see it now okay so this is uh Never, never been released publicly. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I, br I brought it down here for some meetings, let's say. Is that the new Blackbird gig bag? Mm, not really. This is not the guitar. That's the Savoy. Oh, you got two guitars in here. So this is a, um, this was just a modified El Capitan, which is our big, big guy. And we just, we added a cutaway. Um, and kind Thunder. of, yeah, and we made it, it's basically like a hybrid acoustic electric. Yeah. And, um, you got a stack, Seymour Duncan. You got it, yes, a little 59. So where, where it's relevant, I think, to this community is that um, this, is a, this is a smooth satin vintage sunburst. Um, and normally we can't do a custom instrument like this, but we actually cut apart a pre-existing instrument, right? That's how we... Oh. We actually, yeah, so we, we shaved off. I mean, this was a big acoustic guitar without a cutaway. And so we, we reduced it into this, like, semi-solid body craziness. Uh, so you didn't make a mold for this. Thing, we did right? not make a mold. And typically we would. Right. But that's, that was a way of kind of being able to make a demonstrator. Hey, tell me, can you get both the piezo and the magnetic sound at the same time on this? Or is it one or the other? Uh, you can, yeah. So we have... Blend the two. You can blend, uh, like, a K and K soundboard transit under soundboard no, 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 but this probably has an undersaddle it has an undersaddle right? piezo right. and it has a transducer what? and it, then it has the, the, magnetic. the magnetic so we we blending the transducer and the mag and then the the piezo is a separate output for now i mean it's a prototype so cool yeah but wh where it's like kind of relevant i think is then if you can see the finish you know this is sort of the direction we're headed finish wise mm. Uh, that's to, the satin finish. That's the satin finish, yeah. And you can sort of get the sense. It just, it gives it that complete uniform look. And that's really what a lot of folks are used to. So I dig it. And, and it's, once you put the sunburst on it like that, it's hard to, I mean, you have to look closely to see that it's not a wood guitar. Right, right, That's right, that right. classic look. Absolutely, yeah. Natural grain finish is what we call it. Uh -huh. So anyway. You saw it here first, uh, Very cool. and probably never to be released otherwise, because this is really, ECOA is wood replacer, and so you can replace ukulele wood, you can replace acoustic guitar wood, electric guitar wood, the wood of your new oh, house in yeah. Maui or whatever, exactly. <laughs> that's, that. that's the idea, like literally any, any kind of wood application. So anyway, good. yeah. We need more trees. Yeah, exactly, let's get, get Joe back on his high horse. Um, so yes, tell us tell us exactly how Blackbird is going to save the world. 
Well, it's probably going to be more like ECOA is going to save the world. Um, we have to stop using uh, materials that are extractive. And so uh, wood can be used responsibly, um, but I guess more of the enemy would be just kind of global deforestation, steel and concrete. And so really to move the needle, it's not going to be musical instruments, of course, but um, not, not extracting cement and metals and processing them. Can, you, can ECOA play a part in, in steel and Yeah, you, well, think about it. I mean, we're replacing old growth spruce, right, with our material. And that material is very structural. Uh, you know, you can build skyscrapers with, with high quality wood, and our material supersedes high quality wood. So, yeah, it's actually, we've done the testing. Like, mechanically, you can build large structures with these kind of materials. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's, that actually is really yeah, so something that's going to at least play a part in rapidly renewables. The that's what solution. we need. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, communicating this stuff these days is easier than it has been because people realize that change has to happen. Um, and, uh, and where we're targeting is that it's 11% of CO2 emissions comes from, from the built environment from the materials in the, just go into our buildings, 11%, steel, concrete, and, and others. So um, that's what we're ultimately trying to go after. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Thanks, man. man. You're doing good stuff, and yeah, we, love, we love your instruments. Our customers do. They sound great. They always do. So thank cool. you for your time. Thanks, brother. Come on. This guy. Yeah. Is, that, is this good? Is that right? Aloha. <laughs> uh, yeah, great, great to uh, great to hang out, man. Yeah, come visit San Francisco. Yeah, we need to do another yeah. updated shop tour. Oh, it's it's quite different now. I have to say, yeah, come on really? down. Yeah, and when you came, I was building a flood barrier. That's what the day you came. I remember that, and my flood barrier protected us from two floods in the last six weeks. That's so why you got the foresight. Yeah, we got to plan in advance. Keep this company <laughs> right, Exactly, course. no matter what happens. Right, yeah, right. Uh, no matter fire or flood, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the cataclysm, we're protected. We've got our carbon fiber, uh, you know, reinforced flood barrier, our ECOA, I don't know what, B boards. There you go. Cut all this part out. It's really not making any sense anymore. <laughs> um, hey, vintage tone, no worries. There you go. <laughs> All, right. All right, cool.